Hey guys, welcome to Dylan Tittle Hobbies. And today we have some big, big news. So I do not know when they released it, but I think they just released it today. I just saw it over on Star Wars Bessie's channel. I was kind of looking for something to watch Star Wars way. Bessie does, he does a lot of Star Wars related videos. I really like his content, so go please check him out. Oh man, oh man, what, what he put, uh, put up is this video called What Darth Vader Did Immediately After Revenge of the Sith. Can I, I watched it thinking maybe it's just him, him talking about uh, out, uh, what he thinks it's going to be or something like that. But no, it seems the first chapter of the new Darth Vader comic book is now out and he voiced Delta. I don't know if it was him or if it was somebody else, but he voiced dubbed it and it's over on his channel. Please go check it out. Now, the new Darth Vader comic book is out and it takes place immediately, immediately after Darth Vader was put in the suit and after he yells and crushes everything from episode 3, remember that scene? Well, it turns out that immediately right after that, you know, he's still yelling no and the force is just causing everything and to be squished and everything and he pushes Palpatine back. He pushes Palpatine back. Palpatine gets pushed back and he tells Vader, dude, you gotta pretty much cal uh, calm down. Now look, she has given you a gift, pain. And you have one of two things you can do right now. Either die or live. Live with that pain. Live using the dark side of the force. And Vader, of course, chooses to live. Now, you know what Palpatine's gonna do right after this, right? Palpatine's like, Good, good, you're my friend, blah, blah, blah. And then he shocks him with electricity. He uses lightning on Dar Darth Vader, causing him more agony and more pain. And he torments v uh, Vader Say, uh, saying, why don't you use your lightsaber to protect yourself? Where's your lightsaber, Vader? Vader goes, Obi-Wan took my lightsaber. He's like, no. No, he didn't take your lightsaber. That was Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. A Jedi's lightsaber. You don't have a lightsaber yet. After that, we get to see the the sort of world of Star Wars, uh, the world of Coruscant, being like, hooray, hooray, the Jedi are now dead, the Jedi are now dead. They're destroying Jedi's old lightsabers, and they're saying something about now we will have peace and freedom, and Palpatine is talking to Darth Vader like, those fools know nothing of what peace is. And then he starts tell, uh, telling him about where a Sith lightsaber comes from. Now, I love the way they put it. I'm not going to say it word for word, but I love the way Palpatine put A kyber crystal is just alive and breathes just like everybody else. It's alive in its own way. It's alive. And anything alive, you can cause pain. You can cause hatred you can cause anger and suffering to it. This is what you must do to the lightsaber crystal. You must make it bleed. You must make it bleed to get a crimson, beautiful, red lightsaber. I love the way uh, a, this guy puts it. It's not a mood ring, guys. You, you don't you know, pick up a lightsaber and suddenly turn, uh, turn red because uh, as you're mad and using the dark side of force. It doesn't work that way. This is the color of the dark side, is what Palpatine is talking about. And I love the way he put it. So then he pretty much tells Vader 
that he has to go out uh, and find his lightsaber. Pretty much the rest of, of the chapter is him, uh, him going to find the ship to go, uh, go and find uh, his uh, new uh, lightsaber crystal. Which I think is totally, totally 100% awesome. I cannot wait to see the next chapter of this or the next issue, whatever it is. Man, the fact that Palpatine put Vader in his place, because you know, he's still somewhat Anakin right now, and Anakin wa wanted to uh, pre pretty much get rid of Palpatine and rule it himself. So I really, really do like the fact that Palpatine does know this and tells him, you're no longer Anakin, and no, you can't defeat me, fool. Oh my god, it, it's just, it's just awesome. I really, really did like this issue. And let me know in the comments down, down below if you really, really like this issue. If you haven't gotten a chance to see it, well, sorry that I spoiled it for you. If you want to have seen it, if you have read it, but you want to hear a really cool voice dub of it, go check out Star Wars Bessie's channel. His video is what Darth Vader did immediately after Revenge of the Sith. Canon! This is a canon novel. Novel. Canon comic book made by Marvel. Well, thank you guys for watching. May the Force be with you. And I'm out. Bye.